Now, everyone has pointed out how much they love the Bloodline manufacturing. Sure, he might not build an empire like Thartha Tharthi, our first character. He might not change the face of the planet forever by founding a culture and spreading a religion. But through scheming and marriages and abduction and paying a lot of people a lot of money to move to our court, we've got the Bloodline Blender going. A lot of you have said how much you've enjoyed that particular aspect, how we can basically make our own branch of elvendom, for lack of a better word. So that got me thinking, we've collected our uh, two bloodlines, potentially a third with Celestia turning up yesterday, yes. What if we went out of our way to collect maybe some others too? I would be shocked if out there in the world we didn't find, look at this, House Delarin is that enormous elf. Oh my god, wait, have they already married into our dynasty? Why is this person so hideous? What happened there? Oh, because she was repulsive. I understand. Sorry, it's probably quite wrong of me to see a hideous character and assume they're just a member of our dynasty. <laughs> but we could find, I'm sure it wouldn't take too long, to dig up somebody from this dynasty. I mean, look at how many there are within diplomatic range. That could be the biggest problem. There's one person. We kidnap, we abduct, we bribe, we kill off our husbands, we get them to court no matter what. Maybe... We could just invite them. Her husband falls down a ditch, and we get another bloodline into the realm. My friends, we are taking the bloodline blender to a whole other level today. Starting with Bildu Bildu. She's elf blood, I assume she is indeed. Get her to court. They're both wanderers. Well, that was fucking fortunate that we found that at this moment, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Okay. Um, your husband, listen, your husband needs to go. Let's pin you, keep track of you. Your husband needs to uh, die very suddenly. Where was she before? I wish I'd have had a look at that and seen how far we'd drag them across the realm. This is child's play for, for Elrong. I've said that we won't murder other elves. Elven supremacy has been a big part of our culture and maybe he's done it. He's murdered one person before out of anger. Maybe a human standing in the way of this incredible elven bloodline is something we want to deal with. Maybe we don't want to blend all the bloodlines because that is... Although, what's the negative there? A little bit of travel speed, a little bit of learning. But when you consider the things that are good outside of stats like number of knights plus two, which we don't have, and when you also consider that our latest generation of kids are all being born with genius, maybe it doesn't matter if, say, one bloodline gives a plus two to martial and minus two to diplomacy, and another bloodline gives a, a plus two to diplomacy and a minus two to martial, and they effectively cancel out. It's the other benefits we should be searching for. This is a glorious moment. Okay, so that's you in then, bloodline of house... Dalaran. Valorith, do we already have? We already have that in the dynasty, so we can tick that one off. Valorith is, is good. Sorelion we also have as well. We've got kids born with both of those, so that one's ticked off. What else have you got for me? Gwynthorn. Gwynthorn is in our court right now. My friends, we are one bloodline off of... Oh, no. One bloodline off of uniting them all. Is that all of the bloodlines? All five of them. So we're seeking out this one here. House Thunderail. They give minus two diplomacy, plus two learning, travel speed, plus 10, and monthly lifestyle experience up by 25%. What happens when we blend them all? Who knows? Maybe there's some super secret event. Maybe not. <laughs> Probably not, let's be honest, because who would do this in their right mind? But it's something worth checking out. Do you think there's anyone on the planet that has this that's just outside of Diplo range? No. So that hasn't, that doesn't exist yet. So our job then becomes, uh, remember that, and keep searching for it every five or ten years. Obviously, we occasionally get the pop-up about these people. So, uh, first things first. Somebody suggested in the comments, marry uh, Smeagelf to his younger sister, Thrandall, because, of course, she has the bloodlines, the two bloodlines as well. By marrying those two together, that will guarantee their being inherited, and we've effectively banked that, right? I would even argue maybe break the marriage between Lunk and Smeagalf. Now, there is, of course, no downside to having, um, you know, uh, by, by having that married to, him married to her and also his younger sister. There's no cooldown on men having children, right? That, that's not a concern we have to worry about. However, we should probably sort of his education while we're here. Intrigue or diplomacy? Let's go with diplomacy then because people want me to play a diplomacy character even though I'm not entirely sure what we'll end up doing with that. But just in case we end up playing as this guy next... I think that it would be better to maybe keep keep them betrothed and then break this one if another bloodline comes up, right? 
and just try and get as many bloodlines together as possible. So how are we going to... So th this we need to deal with fairly urgently. Marry you off to someone else. That's all good. In fact, this is awful. She's 27. How old is Schmiegelf? Five. This is awful. We can marry them together. And then maybe, maybe, very unlikely, their child is born with three bloodlines. Celestia's 39, so we need to be on that, like, immediately. This one's much higher priority to the extent we should probably break this betrothal, marry her to someone older, just to keep that bloodline alive. Because I think she's the only person with the bloodline of House Gwynthorn, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check. Sorry, I'm, I want I know it's a lot of a lot of pause gameplay here, but I want to get all of our... Yeah, so she's the only person with that. I think we break that betrothal. Can I break that betrothal now that I've now that I've suggested it? Oh no. Uh it was me that betrothed them. How do I how do I break break betrothal? There we are. Boom. It's co it's cost us a fortune in prestige. I'm fully aware of that. But by the time that kid comes of age, it's unlikely she'll be able to have any kids. Uh John Fane Gacy. Oh dear. Uh well, I suppose. If there's no one with a bloodline, then by all means, I guess. We're only ever gonna be looking for people from our dynasty, of course. Um let's go Dynasty Falca Handel. Let's have a look here. So we've got uh, no. I think we've got to marry them together. He's got Hanson, which is 20% fertility, so I'm happy to see it. Let's do that and hope that they're able to get some more kids with House uh, Bloodline of House Gwynthorn before it goes extinct. Those kids we could then marry into Smeagelf. This is messy. This is going to get messy. Let's focus on her then for a little while. Forget about the France planet. This is way more important. Any idiot can conquer France, okay? <laughs> but not anybody can blend all these elven clans and factions and families together. New leadership lifestyle perk. That's good. How long are we waiting on this murder scheme then? Nine months. 21 people want him dead. They probably know about her incredible bloodline. Maybe elves just inherently know these things. Maybe she's been proclaiming it and our spy master heard about it from, from uh, you know, rumors across the realm. Who knows? Ah, for many years now, I've had an understanding with King Haley. My H H Heli? I have no idea how you say that. My raiders keep their weapons uh, in their belts in his lands. His subjects buy the exotic luxuries we take from less diplomatic realms. The terms of our agreement have run their course, and though many among my retinue are reluctant to give up their convenient trade contacts, perhaps he would be open to an extension. It's possible that we might gain 350. However, because we are... Because we're arbitrary, we might want to throw it away. And to be fair, I, I feel like I would prefer to start raiding his lands again at this point. I feel like we could earn, bear in mind the size of our retinue at this stage, we could get more prestige from just raiding. We've also very much raided up and down all of Aquitaine there. So let's start our troops building up in Comborg and let's head over. Now, this was a cool idea. Somebody said you should just build the tribe in Rohan. Make that your capital, because that's obviously the, the Elven Expedition site. Oh, apparently we may have also found everything in our Expedition site for the time being. So, we can still go on expeditions just for just for a little fun to go find some treasure. Maybe gamble on those spike traps again and, you know, test your greed. Um, but it, it's not, we're not going to find any big kind of cultural reforms or anything like that. But that's, that's totally fine. I feel like we've already done a massive amount for the culture. And I'm happy that we kind of did that in the early game as well. My spy master has come to me. My guest, Malaparty, is scheming against me. Who are you? Uh, well, she's supposedly some sort of reincarnation of a previous character. Um, throw her in jail. <laughs> she's a human. Why do we care? Right. Let's go all the way across. We want to maybe avoid the places that we converted. Now it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let them see their betters. Hello. The Yorkers claim on the Duchy of Gwyneth. Uh, yep. By all means, we'll help you with that one. Look, my troops are raised. Ready to go. I don't know why my uh, lifestyle perks aren't popping up at the top anymore. It keeps making me forget about it. Um, vassal tax, divided attention domain limit plus two. Hello. Well, obviously, we'll go and finish off architect first. Then obviously, kind of much with intrigue either. I really should just throw in that mod that lets you convert it back to points. So I'll, I'll do that. Don't let me forget. Defensive measures, not affecting this up by 15%. Good Lord. And then finally, uh, this is obviously what we'll be jumping to when we're done with architect, I think. <sighs> Family ties gives diplomacy plus one. Spouse opinion... 15 childhood opinion i need to find out who or what that affects i don't think it will do anything for us if we take it but i might just take it just uh just maybe you never know maybe it'll do something for us while this guy's alive spouse opinion 15 child opinion plus 10 diplomacy plus one that seems like a really nice trait to grab oh hello it's my good friend duke finreth the beautiful of wessex he's a good ally um what would you like here there's a minus 0.9 percent chance of them being inbred that's good your great-grandson bodyguard galandi 
Doesn't have any bloodlines, and that's what we're going to focus on. Forget characters that are genius, Herculean, beautiful. They're a dime a dozen these days. They've all got the overbite, which is the important aspect, right? This kid's got the kind of massive head, and this kid's got the overbite. So we're returning to Thartha Tharthi. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's that's an all right alliance to uh, an all right marriage at the very least. Actually, before I forget, let's see if we can give you a role in court. What are you good at? You got 20 stewardship. I'm not going to replace council members with humans. Um, I mean, she's elf blood, but yeah, you understand, right? Uh, let's go for... Oh, I actually don't know. Any good stewardship? Have we just got any empty positions? Might be a better question. Then we can just go from there, huh? Okay, so we can't fill in any of those. Someone's going to get the sack. That's the important part. She's average antiquarian i feel like we need a good antiquarian caravan master she counts as good a current one is excellent so a minor setback <sighs> wet nurse oh oh my god she's excellent oh my god hello there okay then well that was um pretty appropriate wasn't it that was great Oh, my liege won their war with King Gandalf. So that was uh thought thought going to war with denmark again i think for ireland oh yeah my boy what a great piece of work he's done there Wow, he's really just finished the great work. Has I, I just, I don't want to see him die. I don't want to see him die. Who's this woman he's married? Some random Aloran Magi, intelligent, thrifty clerk. I wonder if if the uh, weavers approached him and said, "Hey, you need to be married, Stinky. Uh, here's a wife for you." Fair enough. Okay. I mean, she's she's good. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I don't want to. See, I don't want him to die. I want him to live forever. My poor boy. I hope you're not afraid of snakes, Bartos. And. Beautiful. He's dead by the lethal bite of a viper. The snake struck not long after he retired to his chambers. Thankfully, snakes do not talk. That's some elva, ancient elven proverb right there. Snakes do not talk. And now, oh, she appears to be... Did your child... I was going to say your child didn't inherit that, right? She appears to be free for a marriage. Wow, that's insane. I'm looking for people in my realm, preferably. Um, that's okay. We'll find someone. We'll find someone. Can I not just... Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. Uh, you then, madam. We're looking for anybody unlanded. I don't care about alliances or anything either. She's 28. We could take a gamble and marry her to Elendar. We get married in four years. She'll be 32. That's two bloodlines potentially converging there. He's also handsome, which will increase fertility. I feel like we should go for that. That also gives attraction opinion. That is relevant for her, right? Yeah, it is. Good. Okay. I think that's worth going for then. He's marrying a, a random lady. The unicorn falls before the bow. That is a great expression. But you never know. That might be two more bloodlines in the bloodline blender. Hold on. So that's orange and yellow. And what was uh, Smeagelf? Yellow and purple. That's okay. That's fine. So we're basically guaranteeing that if we're successful, yellow we're getting at the very minimum. Okay, good shit. This is messy. <laughs> this is messy, but great. Ooh, they're not happy about us raiding, apparently. All right, go on. Give it a go. Go on, then. See if you can take us on. Oh. Well, Galandil Falcahander died. It's okay. There's plenty more Falcahanders where they came from. One of the children at court, Alendia, has taken a wooden sword of a younger boy and thrown it in a nearby cave. Lunk flew into a fit of rage and beat him bloody. Yeah! This didn't help the younger boy start crying even more. Alendia needed to pay for what he'd done. Or you should have gone in there yourself without fear. Give her brave. Yes! That's what we like to see. Beautiful. This should be a very, very easy battle. Thank you. How dare you even try? Very offensive. Oh, why aren't we leading the armies ourselves? That way we get all those events. There's no wonder we haven't been taking any dolls in all this time. How many men do we lose? 470. They lost uh, 1,300. So I'll I'll take that victory right there. Thank you. Um, let's go up this way. Let's go and hit all these nicely undefended cities. Are you seriously coming back? Ah, Orleon has flipped over to uh, Eloran Weavers. Beautiful. Is that much of... <laughs> this is... Uh... This is a mess. You feel like they might have uh, guessed what our plan is at this point, huh? Let's go over to uh, Terrain just to make the borders nice and stable. Oh, my God. They're back again. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, God. They killed Meliantha. No! She had bloodline of House Cerulean. Ah, Solvan. Count Solvan of La Marche. You will not get away with this. You will not get away. He's not vengeful, but this is a human slaying an elf, so we've got to pay her back in kind. She was my royal architect, too. Ah. Gained arrival. You swore to avenge the death of Meliantha Falcahand, who was slain in battle. She had the bloodline, which is unbelievably frustrating. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a new antiquary, and then Alara Falcahand. There you are, my friend. Um, we need a new caravan master. We need a new royal architect as well. Wet nurse and royal architect in the evenings. Beautiful. What a role. And she's risen quickly through society. Is it necessarily a bad thing? Did she even like her husband? Maybe it was a marriage of convenience. We, 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 we might be doing her a massive favor here. You never know. Oh, that was a 
That was not such a good battle, huh? How did it look? 225 versus 1,200. The thing is, they can just keep chipping us down like this. We'll start raiding back in the direction of home at this point, then. Oh, God! Oh, yeah, no, they were sick of us. Ah! Didn't think he would send the whole army. Given that he's fighting a war, I didn't think he'd send the whole army. Oh, you big bitch. Right, well, that's a fucking... That's, that's revenge. I'm not standing for that. No, 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 no. To be, to be beaten by a human. No, it's just not on. Um, kill the child? No, I would like to abduct that child. Can I use the abduct again? Oh, I've already tried against Prince Giles, I see. You will be giving us that money, my friend. We will be getting that money back, don't you worry. Oh, God. And there they are. The future of the dynasty right there. The Arthur Tharthi's son, if I'm not mistaken. Our uncle and our great-granddaughter. Wow, that's confusing, is it? How old is he? 16 and 19. Wow, that's tremendously confusing. So, he is her great 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 grand uncle but he's younger than her <laughs> you don't understand what's happening that's okay um they will inherit albino homely which one's homely oh i mean it had to be him didn't it given um Tharthi Tharthi's situation fine beautiful your courtier aravena and my son arathorn will be joined in holy matrimony that's good that's nice. Okay, I like that. Oh, shit. Should have just stopped with raiding Aquatan. I'm so annoyed at that. Dynasty has a lot of vibrant core, have they? Oh, interesting. So this is the new Dynasty Legacy Tharth the Tharth he's chosen for us. Court tier and guest opinion is high. Court grand bonus is high. Get better guests will be attracted. Guest recruitment cost minus 30%. Does that apply to commanders is probably a better question. Because if it does, that's that's awesome. Very happy to see it. Uh, Count Solven. Count Solven has discovered my plot. How disgusting. Okay, I've got to get the revenge here. Um, bribe? Money is no object. Take the money. That's, in fact, all we really need, isn't it? 95, 95. There you go. Beautiful. So that should see that plot through. Oh, well. We made a lot of prestige. Listen, the important part was we were going out there to get prestige. We made a shitload of prestige from winning battle after battle after battle. So, sure. Maybe we didn't get as successful as I wanted there, but that's okay. Rohan. Hello. Move county capital here. Construct a new building. We don't have any special buildings for this slot. What if I make it our county capital? Then what? That's a fun county capital. Because we can turn that into the uh, into that elven, grand, grand elven hold. Exactly. Yeah, no, let's go with that. We need a bit more prestige first. Now, what I think is maybe we should swap some of these armies out, huh? What do you think? So our archers have the same counter as the armored footmen. So I think we drop the armored footmen. We've got wolf riders, fey archers, ranger high guard, pikemen. Let's throw in some of those mosswood dragoons. We love those. I want a load of... Uh, I, want, I want all of the exclusively elven bands, of course. That gives a massive benefit, if you remember. In fact, I should put the wolf riders there, if I'm not mistaken. Is that better? We should move those to there, because our highest level of elven tribal hold, if you remember, gives that insane uh, uh, retinue bonus, which we'll try and bank on for these guys. Then next time, the King of France is like, oh, there's only 2,000 men there. Let's go fight them. He'll get his ass handed to him, and we can do a 360 and walk away with all this loot. Good news. Okay. That's going to take a little while to cook. We should probably have, like, another feast or something, speaking of cooking. That way we can <laughs> turn it into more dragoons. Oh, is Tharthi Tharthi at war? We can't name him. God, there was... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She may be one of the most hideous characters I've seen so far. It must be her sister. No, they're not. Oh, no, it is. It is. It's her sister. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, who do we want to make guest of honor, then? The Queen of Brittany, his wife? Um, What about this random duke where he's a human absolutely never wait this guy's also a human what the? no 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 you're elf you're elf blooded okay that's fine um this man here duke alendir falcahander yes you seem like an upstanding sort let's do that uh do you want to befriend someone I suppose we could who would we want to befriend though <sighs> there's no one really valid is there i don't know why tharthi tharthi can't come to this again i assume he's at war um let's just go with a let's go with recreation then Focus on yourself. Can't be hosted for 50 months. Okay, forget about that then. Let's go on a hunt. That's what I meant to say. We love a good hunt. It's probably been too long since we've... Uh, uh, too soon since we've done that as well. Comborg is good. Let's see, we've built up in Rohan now, so sadly that's not as good. We'll turn Comborg into our proper hunting domain. I think that's a good idea. So we need outposts. Increase hunt sighting chance because it's already got hunting grounds. So it's it's like really, really good for us already. We'll, we'll spin some cash into that because it's been a big part of this character's life, right? He's been quite the, quite, the, quite the hunter, both of venison and of man. Is it called venison when it's still alive? I don't think so. I don't think that's quite how that works. Look in that field, a bunch of beef. Do it. Counts. Solvan is killed. 95% chance. Oh. Well, he died, but we were caught. 
My assassin was only there to protect you from the real killer. Honest. <laughs> we lose all legit legitimacy, but we gain... Uh, but we lose our, all of our stress. I don't think we even had any, but we gain 150 prestige. We gain a, a, a 70 dread just outright. Beautiful. They might declare a blood feud, but they didn't. And who cares about murdering a count in a foreign realm? No relevance to us whatsoever. And again, it was human. We don't care. What, sorry, recreation. Why did I not change it to slay beast? Ah, oh, you fool. That's okay. Um, seek the stag. Seek the wolf. A tricksy hair. No, thank you. Um, yes. No, let's go for the stag then. That seems good. And stop. Pause. Thank you. Slay beast. That's what I was after. Thank you. Okay, good. Well, let's get to it then. Uh, the other, the noise of the others are fed is my kinsman, Earl Erendil, and I stalk up upon the stag. Now that we're finally alone, there's something I have to tell you about Duke Feasnor. Feasnor's still alive. Oh, God, barely. Oh, the prince of fashion himself. Oh, what has happened? What a character he would have been to play, huh? Good Lord, my man. What a total mess. Talk later, kinsman, or tell me. Uh, learn Fair Snore's secret. No, we don't care about that. Fair Snore and us are good friends. Yeah, Fair Snore and us are good friends. We would never. Yeah, success chance increases, please. Cap to 80%, of course. Oh. What happened to her? Vacated. No longer my wet nurse. Why? Oh. Probably because the child's five. Yes, no, that makes perfect sense. She's still our... She's still around. She's still our architect, so that's good. Uh, a hostage scorned. It's been so long now since Avrandriel first came to court and I became her uncle. Now a woman, she can hardly stand to look at me. Yeah, but I think he is your uncle, though. You and her become bitter rivals. Oh, you attempted to manipulate her. Well, what did you expect? My food taster and court physician, Alandra, has dismounted to squat in the mud, carefully examining an iris flower. Back on your horses. Yeah, absolutely. My physician will have what she needs. Um, stocked medicus. No, 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 no. Back to the hunt. You know how much he loves a hunt. She will no longer be our hostage. Uh, yeah, get your things. It's time to go home. Goodbye. We don't need you in our court, then. Slightly increased hunter experience. What have we got right now for hunter experience? Surely it's pretty good. Oh, this actually might get us up to rank two. That's good. My huntsmen say they know the place of the beast covert. Proceed by stealth or real hunters corner their prey. Yes. Success chance decrease. It doesn't matter. We're at the cap anyway. A child. Who was this child? Celeste. Oh, no. She's ill. Ah! That might have been our one chance to try and get the bloodline. No. God damn you. Uh, give her, give her, a, wait, she's, she's elf blood. Wait, years of fertility is higher. Oh, thank God. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank God. Okay. Uh, ed, ed, like, like, uh, cure her. Do something. Well, we've got a court physician. I, I can't really do anything else. Like all game, the slippery stag has many tricks. Blenches. What the hell does blenches mean? And ruses that can fool even the most experienced hunters. My grandson, Elrong, has halted the party. The buck has been standing perfectly still in the dense undergrowth. Patience, this should be easy to solve. We don't need to gamble, though. We don't need the gamble. It does give us hunter trait experience. Go on, then. We're still at 80%, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's gone. We failed again at 80% chance. Bloody hell. Hunting is way too hard in this, isn't it? Good lord. Leave this adventure behind now. So, I that might be enough to take us to slightly increase hunter trait experience. Okay. Was it enough, though? Hold on a second. Good lord. Please, give me a break. <laughs> so much going on. Was that enough to take us up to hunter 2? It was. Beautiful. There you go. Pinion Hunter characters plus 10. So really, we should probably start down the falconry tree as well then. Um, tell me my future wise one. Absolutely not. I'm not interested about what some random human man has to say. We visited the capital of the Empire of Britannia, did we? Unless there's something I don't know about the Order of Succession. That's... What the... Sorry? Empire of... What? <laughs> he totally threw me off then. What's he talking about? He moved the Empire of Britannia down to London. Bad choice, as far as I'm concerned. How bizarre. Sorry, why... Is that the, the, the flag of a kingdom these days? Why does it look so impressive and cool? Oh, I guess that's just the, uh, the, the flag of the Kingdom of Brittany, huh? Oh, unless that's because it's our kingdom that's got all that ornamentation. Confu uh, totally threw me off then for a second. What are you talking about? Now, Thaldir Camarion. Thaldir does have the bloodline of House Valoreth. Let's type in bloodline and see what else comes up. Um, so only Sorelion is appropriate... That seems fine. That's like another... Oh, no. Thrandall I wanted to... No, 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 no. Sorry. Not Thrandall. Anyone but Thrandall. Um, bloodline of... Who else could we marry you to? I don't have any other bloodlines available, right? Gwynthorn we're working on. Dalaran we're working on. That's really all I've got. Okay, well, let's just marry you to someone who's got high fertility then and hope that you're able to propagate Valorith, I guess. 
Um, anybody who's beautiful, that would be good. Let's specifically resist, uh, re restrict it to uh, beautiful. Fine, I suppose she'll do. That's okay. She's 11, but that's okay. They're betrothed. That's good. Okay, I uh, ransom you out, and then maybe spend a bit more money on... Oh, do we go for the capital upgrade at this point? I think we probably do, don't we? Let's go for our tribal hold. We do need 200 gold as well. Wowee. Okay, um, let's get to raiding then, eh? We do love a bit of raiding. But first, Sunni will be at my mercy. 55 gold. That was a gamble. That was a gamble, okay? Ransom him for 50. What? Ransom him for 50? You're telling me that cost me 5 gold? What's a waste of money? Oh, for God's sake. Well, that was not very real estate, was it? Oh, okay. Um, how tremendously frustrating. We can abduct the king. It's possible that with a few events, we could do that. How on earth am I going to get this money back then? I guess we'll just go back to fabricating hooks for a while. That's fine. God damn you. <laughs> so if we could get that money back from him and, and kind of flex him a little bit, but that's okay. And there it is. Architects. Beautiful. Building construction time down. Not significantly enough that we're able to afford that. Or oh, maybe, actually. What was it? 200 gold? Actually, maybe. Hold on. 180. God damn you. <laughs> okay. That's a very funny joke. Ah. Tehran has changed to uh, Allure and Weavers. Brilliant work. Right. Sorry. Let's try this again, shall we? A beautiful elven civilization. Station mana arms damage toughness up by 40%. What was it? 60% at the highest. And it's not that expensive either. It's not that expensive. Is it better than a castle overall when you consider everything else we potentially get from castles? Eh, probably not. But here's the thing. We can't upgrade the castles. We can't do anything with castles. We can't build any duchy buildings because we, we are so behind uh, culturally compared to everyone else that it's going to take so long to catch up, eh? Hey, there we go. Cool. I've dug up a mod on the workshop. I'll link it below if I remember. If I don't, bug me on Discord until I remember. Uh, it, it, the, the previous one I used, which was called, I think, To Live and Learn, hasn't been updated. A lot of people said it's fine. Throw it in the mod list. It didn't work. I tried it in, in a few different places in the mod list. It didn't work. So instead, we've got this one, whatever it's called. Experienced Intrigue and Powerful Plots. Whoa, -wee. okay. This is fun that we actually get something unique. Powerful Plots gives Hostile Scheme power up by 5%. I mean, it's arguably irrelevant. I wonder, though, if that would work for kidnapping kings and such things. Oh, shit. I mean, the problem is, though, we would need such an incredibly high level of intrigue to be able to pull that off. 5% per go. It starts at 5%. It's unlikely to get any higher than that. Jesus. Sweet release. Don't say that. Not when the poor man's missing everything that was important to him. Honeyed Words gives attraction opinion plus five. That's pretty good. Terror or tributes. Terminate Vassal Tax contribution up. And Beyond Reproach, Tyranny Game minus five. So these things are, as you might tell from the uh, very clever graphic design there, reusable. So we can just keep sinking plots into that. Or points into that, sorry. I'm absolutely going to take powerful plots. It's a great idea for mod. I love this. Big fan. Of it. And it doesn't support the additional focus paths, but that <laughs> makes perfect sense, right? We can't go raiding because we are at war. So we've got a choice here. We can go and help out with the Yorkish claim on the Duchy of Gwynedd. Do some damage over there. That would actually help us get a bit more prestige, which I think is very important right now. So let's go do that. Let's go help out. Prove that we're loyal to the family. Because this series is all about family. And that's what makes it so powerful. Burn down their capital. Schmiegelf. Maybe our next character. Uh, we can give him Temperant, Diliger, or gre Diliger? <laughs> Diligent or Gregarious. Um, well, if we're training him in Diplomacy, Gregarious, I think, hits hard. Maybe better than Diligent, because obviously Gregarious unlocks unique powers, gives scheme bonuses, attraction minion plus five. Diligent is arguably the better trait. Diplomacy, Stewardship, Learning. I'm going to go with Gregarious. I think we can do more with that, and I think that's a unique guy that we haven't really... Just befriend everybody. Regardless of who they are. Ah, you are always there for me, and I hope you know that I'm grateful. My grandson, Shmigalf, approaches me in a red display of honesty. That's what it means to be a guardian. Yes. Don't try and get a hook on him. We don't need that. If he's our friend, that's all the hooks you could ever need. Oh, hello. The guardian of the Alaran Holy Site spreads into the country of Merioneth. That is Tharthathathi's legend. Ah, I could promote that. Why the fuck not? You can promote someone else's legend. Yeah. How do I promote that? I just start promoting it? And that gives us the modifiers the same as it would be, right? It costs us money, but that's okay. Sure, sure, why not? Oh, and, and, and I'm right in thinking that's how that works. Again, I've never used this DLC before. A true hero. Stress level stress loss per level of fame plus 50%. What the hell are you saying? That seems insane. So is that just something we're now affected by? I'm not sure how it goes. 
I'd assume it, that's how it goes, but, uh, uh, Court Grandeur, Court Chronicle, whatever. Well, I'll figure it out at some point. I'll go do some research between episodes. My granddaughter-in-law, Alicia, has given birth. Look, it is definitely albino, isn't it? It's interesting. It really is interesting that, that he went for that. I don't hate it. I mean, we're not exactly struggling for genius anyway. Oh, that's cool. Yes, no, we should swap over. You're right, because I don't think I want to do with any of these. Skilled stewardship or systematic domain planning gives 0 0.05 per month. This is a really cool mod. I like that. Might be permanent play in my, my mod packs from now on. So let's go over to uh, leadership focus. We're done with intrigue. We've got quality everything in intrigue. Stewardship again. Uh, I mean, avaricious is all about getting money from your vassals. Administrator, though I don't hate it. Half of it is about vassals as well. What does the actual administrator perk give? A little bit of diplomacy, stewardship, vassal opinion. It's it's certainly not relevant. We could go for marshal. Obviously, this guy's been uh, quite the marshal player. It's his third highest stat. I feel like he's paranoid enough that overseer would make sense. And maybe even we go down into uh, one of them that gives like raid speed. Maybe living off the land. Hit and run's also really good. It's like generically good stuff. I think for now, though, let's go for... Yeah, let's let's go for leadership. Diplomacy Prestige, 0 0.5 per month with uh, Sovereignty. That's awesome. I like that. Do you have any weak spots I should know about? Beautiful. There we go. There's our hook right there. Oh, both of them simultaneously. Beautiful. Both brothers in one fell swoop. That gives us our money back that we lost during that raid. So there you are. Beautiful. Thank you. And beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, we have sieged... The North Riding. In fact, we've basically just won the war for them right there. Your war contribution is 70%. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wrap this war up so I can go raiding again. Beautiful. Thank you. Gave us a little bit of prestige. Nothing really worth getting out of bed for, unfortunately. Have you got a bloodline? You do not. <laughs> it seems such a shame to be like, oh, this character is terrible when she's got so much going with her, huh? I w why is this guy? No, I want to see, like, my realm. I don't care about marrying outside of my realm. Or do I? I get some alliances? Huh. We could. That way, if we do decide to raid France, it's always something we can rely on, huh? How are we looking for time, then? We've still got 12 more years as this guy. That is in more than enough time to get our bloodline plays going. This is the one I'm concerned about quite a lot. This one, maybe not so much, because obviously she's a high elf. I didn't realize she was a high elf, to be honest. I thought she was just uh, elf-blooded. So actually, they are totally fine. The chance of that perpetuating is quite high. She's just elf blood, though. Gives her another 10 years of fertility. They're going to be okay. It's all going to be fine. It, I think it's actually all going to be fine, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Ah, and now I've added that mod. Look, our our perk selection's working. I guess it's just because we always had that one in... Uh, we, we all, oh God, mesmerizing aura, fertility 10%. Don't do that. Let's go for visionary then. Start putting some more points in there. He is a visionary. That's exactly what I'd describe him as. A man who knows that we can bring these bloodlines together to go further beyond just simply genius and beautiful and all those pathetic traits for common folk. You're really going to try that, huh? My friend, you will never get this. Beautiful. Judith. Who's Judith? Arwenia. No bloodlines. I don't care. May you grow strong and wise. Yes. Well wishes, thoughts and prayers. I really just do not care otherwise. And another county conversion. Oh my god, is that a result of us, do you think? The fact that Cathar is also blown up. We might single-handedly destroy the Catholic Church if we keep going like this. Interesting. There's another Raven Holy Site over in over in Luch. Oh, that's the like original one, right? Ancient portal ruins. Yeah, you're right. Jesus, a bit of a pyrrhic victory there. Yikes. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We didn't lose a huge amount of troops, but it was about even. Of course, they started with more troops, so we can't be doing that too often. Damn, okay. We'll get those retinues up to up to scratch soon. Don't you worry about it. Oh, God, they're back again. We still can't raid safely. Oh, that's so unfortunate. All right, forget the raiding for a little while then. Yep, they, they, they've, they've got too much power base. They've reorganized themselves a little bit too well. We just can't keep up with them while we're redoing the retinues. That's okay. Maybe, oh, we got a strong hook on him. Oh, did we? Well, that's nice and convenient, isn't it? Maybe there's another way we can get some money from these fellas. More importantly, more important than any battle, any war, we're going to mix yellow and orange. Perfect. Married Bildu Bildu. You better Bildu me up some bloodlines. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll execute you. Oh. And Prathothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothothoth
14,000 versus 9,200. Maybe we do that tomorrow. What do you think? I'm not quite happy because there's still a lot of foundational building to be doing here. Building up our, our, our forces a little bit more too, but that's fine. Sorry, when can we go back to university? Did we go to university with this character? No, I don't think we did, right? I think we went with Thartha Tharthi. No, maybe we did go with this guy, because I think we traveled down from Wales to... I would have said something like, Thartha Tharthi would never go to university. He's too stupid, even though he's not really that stupid. That sounds about right. Oh, maybe we should go again, see if we can upgrade our... Our learning at this point. Well, that's okay. Uh, let's see how Tharthi Tharthi does in France. See if he throws a real spanner in the works. If we're ever going to go raiding into France, now's the time to do it. What the hell do you think you're doing? What are you doing? What are you doing in my territory? How dare you? Raise the troops. God damn it. I didn't expect them to turn around and come and clap us over the head like that. Lunk is lustful. Lustful Lunk. We love, we love to see that. That's really helpful. Um, well, there's the army of Britannia. Are they actually going to help? Oh, God. Now he's under attack from another aspect. He's really complicating things here. So I'm also trying to fabricate a hook on the Serene Doge so that we can go back to that trade contract. You all thought I'd forgotten. I had until I noticed that he was there untraded with. Beautiful. I'll teach him a fucking lesson. Now we go down. <laughs> we start... Ah, 50 gold. 50 gold for a trade contract? It might just pay for itself. Who knows? Now we'll go back to sieging for a little while. Greetings, Grandfather. I know that your Queen Arowana's real killer. I don't care. On decline. Who cares? Yeah. Decline. Oh, no. That's terrible. Her close family member and spouses. Does she have any? Like, what? Like, her husband? Okay, so what do we lose? We lose 100 piety for that. 30 opinion of Arendor. That's it. Oh, well, I don't care about that, you little weirdo. Okay, but anyway, we can go raiding because this is an hour war. But we've already killed all their troops. Oh, this sucks. Still part of his domain, though. So, unfortunately, he is... We are being sieged. Ugh, maybe we go back and fight the siege. Okay, never mind. Hello, no bloodlines. Move on. Sorry, I had to whip off and answer the door then. What are we doing? So they're not technically at war with us, right? Because we haven't officially joined the war, if I'm not mistaken. Holy War for the Duchy of Anjou. Can I offer to join? Because then if we do that... Uh, offer to join war. There we are. Can never remember the order of the buttons. I know that they're somewhere. Um, Holy War for the Duchy of Anjou. We're not allowed... Is not defending my faith in this holy war. Oh, you can't join aggressive holy wars. Fair enough. Okay, well, that's fine. I, I, the only reason I wanted to do that, and in fact, this could work. Yes. The only reason I wanted to do that was so that I could hire the holy order, which now we can, because you have to be at war with a hostile faith to be able to do that. With all of these troops, we can push France out of our territory before they start attacking us. And we've got the Serene Doge in our pocket. Beautiful. We'll definitely do something with that in a second. I think he's at war. To be fair, he might be joining France in their holy war. I wonder what he's doing right now. Something we can sit on for later. Um, Prince Gabriel, the Timid of Moldavia, in the crusade for the Grand Principality of Moldavia. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that later then. We'll get that trade. Hopefully, the trade is still just as valuable, that trade contract we had. Perfect. There we are. Now we can kick the French out. Hello, my great-granddaughter, Celestia. What was she? Ah! My friends, we have done it. Look at that. Celestia has given birth, and we have continued the bloodline. The bloodline of House Gwynthorne there. Very dangerous bloodline. My god, like an enormously dangerous bloodline. But fantastic for running your domain. Actually, like insanely good for running your domain. Elrong. You know what? That's a strong, powerful name. Deserving of such a, uh, such a glorious, powerful child. Yeah, you better run. You realize you fucked up now, huh? You will never get this. Can, can, are we ever going to be able to catch them here? Not this right. <laughs> Just chase them around. That's fine. There you go. We finally got them. Beautiful. This is going to be a massacre. Oh, Feasnor. Hello. Uh, the last time I saw Duke Feasnor, I was surreptitiously getting rid of my yellow hat because yellow is an unlucky color for people of my birth. This time before, I had to accompany him on a ridiculously long detour to avoid a sleeping black cat. However, as I catch him throwing away half my precious salt because it's been spilled, I feel my patience wearing thin. Honestly, if anybody's going to be paranoid, I feel like this man has, uh, you know, like a lot going on there to, to justify it. Um, what if it's all true? We become superstitious. No, we're stubborn. Let me show you the error of my waves. Blasphemous beliefs or nonsense. Let's just decry it as nonsense because we're arbitrary and stubborn. Ah, Anju is also flipped over. Listen. We've done a lot of damage to France today. Even though we've just been building up bloodlines, we've done irreversible damage. 
We can convert their counties. I mean, look at us. We can convert their counties faster than they can ever catch back up. Next one is we'll drop it in their capital. They have moved back up to uh, Paris. That will connect all that up. And I guess we'll cut this and convert it. I'm going to let Cathar cook. Cathar being powerful is undermining our enemies. So that's only a good thing as far as I'm concerned. What have you got from them? We've got a learning focus. Ah. Uh, embrace celibacy gives piety and clergy opinion and we don't have to worry about him being celibate because he's celibate whether he likes it or not carefree stress minus 20 percent. honestly hasn't been a big problem has it um wash your hands sure gives us plague resistances obviously we're with the newest dlc plague resistances a lower chance of contracting illnesses a lower chance for courtiers to contract illnesses that seems pretty good oh ludolf bavaria has discovered i'm the mastermind behind a plot against him has ended our scheme ah damn you okay well, let's get back to Fabricants more hooks. This is basically just exclusively so we can pay for our um, new elven citadel. I call it a citadel. It's like a fancy tribal holding. Then we've also got border guards gives control growth. Ooh. Supply duration. Yes. For raiding, that's super important. Did we just kill every single French unit? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we got almost 800 prestige. We got 774 plus all the other minor bits and bobs. Saucer up Lorian. Look at that. Oh my god. And with that, I can afford my new wolf riders. It was a little messy there for a second. Sorry, my muscle dragoons. A little messy there for a second, but we've certainly, certainly pulled it back. I think that was a pretty all right play going and joining that other war so that we could hire the. Uh, so that we could hire the, uh, the, the army. Good shit. Do we want to do something about this? Oh, hello. Uh, court poet. Leofrun of East Anglia. She is elven-blooded. Okay, I mean, court poet seems kind of hard to come by, so we'll stick with that. Um, well, I mean, we could we could do something. Holy War for the Duchy of Anjou. I mean, we're, again, we're allied, but we can't... I, I can't put these people to raid. I mean, we haven't got to worry about the Northman Conquest, surely. Surely not. Oh, God, maybe I, we actually have to do if he's down here fighting France. Okay, you know what? Let's put this to good use. Schmigelf. Important Schmigelf. What have you got? Calm, brave, or zealous. Schmigelf. What is he? Calm? Calm is very good. Calm and gregarious is beautiful for a diplomacy character. Yes. Okay. That seems good. Um, The distraction for tonight, but none more. How are we going to lay with her? I mean, you can still functionally lay with her. You just can't have kids anymore. Oh my god. We've hit court grandeur level 7. Despite the fact that we're only spending that minor amount on on our core amenities. Wow. It's from all of the other perks that we've picked up there. Maybe we'll spend some more points on upgrading that at some stage. Maybe not right now, though. We can hang up that boar hide that we stole. It was just standard, standard boar hide configuration. Right, let's go save the original elven lands from these horrible invaders. We've actually got another perk there. Um, Cost-effective architecture. You don't say. I didn't even read the others because I saw that one. Uh, Month prestige and development growth in realm capital. Also very, very good. Right, we're going to land over in Baradum because it would be very Baradum of me to go and boat bomb into that. There's 7,000 hanging around. Do you think they'll follow us? They're going to follow us? No. Okay, well, they're probably not going to break the siege, especially not... It's 7,000 troops. But I reckon they're all crappy crappy uh standard event spawn troops aren't they whatever you call them in ck3 right let's get on with it here we go you will probably win that's what we like to see okay good luck squad much better army composition much better counters i mean look at this beautiful countering every single troop they've got that was awesome well done another slaughter 1200 prestige you're goddamn right you're welcome Look at him go. This guy has been the essential backbone to... Again, he's not the big round builder, like I said at the beginning. He's not an enormous round builder. He's not raising a, a whole new culture and religion from scratch. What he is doing... Oh, you shits. You shits. Okay, raise all. We still have a holy order under contract, if I'm not mistaken. Good work. I can't believe they do that. It did say holy order. That's annoying. It did say holy order. Uh, what's the word? Disbanded. Okay, are we going to be able to stop them? That's a lot of French people. They're very angry. Uh, hello, my dear grandson. I rescind your appointment as the spy master of Britannia. Why? I, I helped you. Ooh, guardian of the Aloran holy site was added to your library. Beautiful. Okay, not massive, but I suppose we'll take that. So does that mean he finished the legend? Promoted legend has been completed. I wonder if he got up to level, uh, a higher level or whether he just sacked it off. Oh, no, he got it up right up to mythical. Oh, good for him. Holy shit. Great work. 
Oh, well, that's nice. Cool. That's amazing. And then a hook on the king of Germany there. Beautiful. Sorry, did I just get two hooks on the same person? Oh, no, they just look very similar. It's European inbreeding. You know how it really goes. Okay, let's see if we can kick these last few people out of our domain. And then I guess we'll wrap it up there for today. I don't really want to reload into this bloody mess right here. How are we looking? We've got about 6,000 troops, though. Look. Oh, yeah. No, we're totally fine. Cut off the 4,000. Have the weaker army reinforced into the stronger army that we've already started smashing. Yep. Beautiful. Exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, consumption. Why is it whenever we get into conflict with the French, we fall ill? They're so smelly. You uh, Okay. Uh, do no more than what is necessary. Excellent work. Thank you. Because we can't... Look, listen. Last time we put our trust in our... Last time we put our trust in our physician like that, we really did pay for it. We've got 2,000 prestige. Oh. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of grace. Do you want to get rid of these pipemen? What would I swap them for is a better question. We've got the wolf riders. We've got the dragoons. We've got the archers. We've got the high guard. Oh, is there any counts we haven't got? You know what? This is for me to figure out between episodes. So we're not dragging our feet too much here at the end. Phaleon. Phaleon also has the bloodline of House Gwynthorn. It's all working, isn't it? It's actually working. It's actually working. It's actually working. Oh my God. It's working. My great plans. My well-laid plans are coming to fruition, Melanthia. Oh. And we marry her. We simply marry her to the kid with the other bloodline, right? We have to do it. Let's not worry about it for now, though. We're at, we're at war. We've got a, lot, we've got a lot to deal with. 90% because we've unseaged that province. This is just purely out of defense. Tharthathathi does... Oh, I was about to say doesn't need our help because he's just grabbed all that territory. Well, that gives us a nice bit of defense against them. We can, we can still raid our adjacent neighbors. A little bit annoyed he stole that, but I mean, it also makes sense that he stole that, given that that's our next bit of territory. Well, what can I say other than supreme work today? My God. We have single-handedly guaranteed the continuation of the bloodline of Hell's Dalar, and more importantly, introduced it over to uh, the West rather than the East. And then Celestia, by by marrying her off, we've single-handedly continued carry, uh, carried on the bloodline of House Gwynthorne there too. This is actually awesome. And then, of course, we've got all of this going on up here, which is just insane. When they're married, we'll marry him to his, his younger sister to ensure that that bloodline is reinforcing. And my God, what a great work we've done. All that prestige. Uh, we've built up our retinues to a sizable uh, a sizable unit. Of course, if we actually sink some of this back into the trouble hold, what do we need for our next level? 297. You know what? As a celebration, how about we do a little bit of one of those and one of those. Keep the hook on the Serene Doge, please. A weenie still owes us our executor and executor of dick and balls. Executed twice over. Man, that's cool, though. The owner of the land of Wiltshire is of the highest pious value. <laughs> and then we'll upgrade our tribal hold into an elven hold. And then, of course, we've got elven grand hold eventually. This holding stands stronger than any castle, fort, or palace. I bloody hope it does. That's right, my friend. You cheer. You cheer and cry. And what's going on there? His arm's cut off at the side. Don't worry about that too much. You cheer, my friend. Because this has been an absolute success. Sorry for overrunning today. Th that last war, we really did need to tidy up and just ensure we were keeping everything running smoothly. I feel like uh, Tharthathafi Tharthi may have been spread a little thin there. And we've, we've certainly bailed him out. I have seen a lot of comments. I'll talk about this at the beginning of the next episode. From people asking if we can go on that big grand adventure. India, Africa. Spread around the world a little bit more. Rather than just slowly working our way through Europe. And absolutely we will. The next character will varange off and go and carve out a new realm for us that's absolutely on the plan so don't worry about that i think maybe two characters in roughly the same empire and then the next character after that will disappear off that way we can build up these awesome casts of characters without you know without it becoming a little bit bogged down and okay here we are in western europe episode 600 you know so bear with me thank you to zero's legion multi zuba gogolus kish fatalis bane izzy claire a pine tree evelyn x complex quanta frozen solid captain elk brockmit toast butch werewolf slider christopher briers felpy pip chip mr moma shadow shall i lions time waster bungling ginger spanner dreyer on zangle pigeon mgs to tech sound and gazoos as well for their support the executive producer is over on patreon thank you all for joining me today what a victory that was right at the end there a little bit touch and go i was a little bit worried then when i until i realized she was a high elf thought we were gonna thought we were gonna blow it all but you know what we saved the day thank you as well to jesper lindstrom Kayak Iggy, Salty Walnut A, Ice Crystal, Linus L, Jizzleson, Simon Ratcliffe, Kunksmore, Elliot Sandage, Ever Curious, Vladislav Lutschatulski, Whiskey Queer, Sierra Matthews, Luna Chandelure, Chub Gator, Maz, Dingo, Kuta, Kuti, John Duckworth, and the Legend Boss as well. See you all tomorrow for a bit more of this horrifying man. <laughs>